uh, she has a lot of her grandparents. Cindy's been coming to church here now for the last, uh, I don't know, three and a half years, maybe four years. And she comes to the Wednesday Night Kids Club that Miss Jenny uh, conducts as well. And uh, she attends the Evansville uh, Christian School. So let me just say that I am so thankful for parents uh, who have made knowing and growing in the love and the grace of the Lord such a priority to make the sacrifices that they make so that their daughter can go to school there. And I'm just grateful for that. And uh, part of Sydney's uh, education there is she has to have uh, learned memory verses every week. And she is outstanding at memorizing those memory verses. I think she probably has more Bible memorized than what I do, quite honestly. I, I have to keep refreshing myself. She knows that. And, uh, you know, I would just say this. When you grow up, I don't know, maybe you will build a uh, business empire. I don't know about that. But you keep yourself focused on the Word of God, and I guarantee you that He will use you to build His kingdom. Okay? And the Bible is very important uh, to Sydney. Um, I have a Bible at home. I have Bibles all over the place, but I have one at home on my end table that's, uh, that I love very much. And not just because my wife gave it to me. She's given me a lot of Bibles over the years. But it's got large print. And all the people 55 and older said, Amen. Yes, I love the large print. But one day I was reading it, and Sydney said, uh, she said, Papa, can I have your Bible? Someday. What that means is when I kick the bucket, she has to my Bible. And I just want to say, in the hearing of your grandma and my children, when that day comes, have Bibles ready. Ready? Let's pray. Father in heaven, I thank you for the privilege of baptizing this, your child. I'm grateful for the decision that she has made, even at this early stage of her life, that she's committing herself to you, and she loves you, Lord. And I thank you for that. I thank you for the privilege now of baptizing her and to just watch her as many years as you give Watch her in her journey for you. And we just pray all of this, Christ, in your name. Amen. Amen. I baptize you now, my sister, but you continue to call me Paul. <laughs> I baptize you now, my sister, on behalf of all your grandparents, in the name of the Father, the Son.